Welcome back to the Dawn Show, live and local here, uh, talking about this is really a family affair now. Um, uh, doctors and now Dr. Siegel's family uh, going to Nicaragua to, to help the people there and reach out to especially children, uh, but an entire community and making a real difference. So uh, we've been talking to Dr. Siegel and now your stepdaughter Jackie Fuchek joins us. It's, so this was your first year. Yeah. What was it like? It was awesome. I met a lot of new people and I got to do things that I never thought I would be able to do. Like I went, what? well when I went, I was with the church group and half of us went to build houses. And we're showing pictures of you with some of the kids. Are you reading with them? Yeah, we went to the school and we read with them and played with them and we brought crafts and stuff for them to do. Um, and like I said, the other half helped build, helped build houses. So while we were with the school, the kids, they were just awesome. Like they thanked us for everything we did. They, they shared with me all their stuff, their cookies. One of the girls made me this bracelet in the town. Um, Which you now treasure, your beaded yes. bracelets. What did the children, you know, being an American, and we take so much for granted, and when I look at these kids and just the, the happiness and glow in their faces, I mean, what did that mean to you, Jackie? Honestly, it's, it's like I feel like I should be thanking them. They were <laughs> sitting there, like, giving me all this stuff. When, I, when they were with the houses and building houses, we helped the families and hung out with them and stuff. Um, so one of the girls, Elizabeth, she made me this bracelet. Um, she took me and Emma, one of the other girls from the church group, and she asked us to go to the store with her. And she brought us to the store and she bought us candy. Just little things like that, like they don't realize, like we have so much more than them and they're giving us everything that they have. And they don't realize, like I, I feel like I should be giving them everything I have. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Now, what was the room with the bunk beds that, that we just That's saw? where we stayed. Okay. Um, and they're high school and college kids, or what are the age groups of the students? That we went with? Yeah. Um, high school. Okay. Um, there was only three kids this time. It was mostly adults with our group. And so for you, how do, you know, you're, as a teenager, how does this shape your life now? Does it make you want to go into something different in your career or your life or what? Actually, yes. I'm actually going to school for engineering. And when I was there, I'm actually considering psychology and social work now. And so this is a journey that you would continue to keep on the family tradition. And yeah, definitely. I really want to go again next year. I'm not sure because of school, but it's... I want to do stuff like this more. And definitely. so obviously you, you, you know, you heard about the stories from your mom and your, and your stepdad. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Siegel, I mean, what does it mean to you to make this difference in Jackie's life and now bring your children here? And, and it's an amazing life lesson. It's, you know, to be able to provide for your kids this opportunity, this is, is, is incredible. And I know Dr. Morelli, he's brought his daughters as well. And uh, it's, I mean, as a, as a parent, be, to be able to give, this is a type of a teaching that you can't provide in Cherry Hill. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not gonna happen here. So you have to go out and, and get, it, get it for yourself. And there's, there's lessons learned and experiences to be had that, that, that at this mission trip and every mission trip, I mean, the face of poverty is the same no matter where you go, whether it's in Camden, where I work, or you know, a third world country. Um, the, the lessons to be learned, they're all the same. Yeah. You know, there's been plenty of opportunities. And we have yeah. more pictures, hospital pictures, yeah. I think, that you've shared, and we thank you for sharing all of these wonderful pictures with us. But tell us uh, about the hospital and your experience there. Um, well, my first experience, uh, you, you go into this hospital, and it's a 400-bed hospital that the census is, a, they have over 1,000 people in this 400-bed hospital. There are patients everywhere that you could put patients. There are family members everywhere waiting for their families to kind of, you know, to, to be released from the hospital. They're, they are sleeping on, 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 the, on the pavement, they're sleeping in stairwells, they're sleeping uh, in, in windows, uh, city, uh, window sills, they're, they're sleeping among hospital pigeons. And, and not just every, not just a couple of family members, they travel all over. They traveled yeah, far, far to away, here. and and they got the grandparents, the aunts, the uncles, and nephews and nieces. Everybody's here for their, you know, their family member to get fixed, waiting for weeks, mm -hmm. you know. And so there's no holiday inns, 
you know, and the, uh, the facilities, they're old, they're dilapidated, there's flies, there's just nasty, you know. But, you know, when you're in Rome, you do what the Romans do, you really don't say too much because it is what right. it is. And, and yeah. to walk in on that, Jackie, just 30 seconds, I mean, what, what was that epiphany for you when, you when you walked in and you saw this and you realized what your mom and stepdad had been doing, but now for you, what did that do to you as a human being? It was definitely a culture shock, a huge culture shock. The first day we got there, after we got off the plane, we went right to the hospital. And I walk in, the walls are dirty, cracks everywhere. It's, it's crazy, like this is how these people live. And, and as an American, to know how blessed we are, yes. and now for you to go there, how does this change you? Because you made such a difference in those children's lives. I'm definitely more grateful for everything that I have. I realize now these people don't even know about some of the things that we have. Yeah. It's, there's pigeons in the hallways of the hospital. Like in our <laughs> hospital, it's like, there's something spills on the floor, it's crazy. It's well, and it shows us no matter what age you are, whether you're a doctor or a teenager, you can make a difference in your community in the world. Jackie, thank you. We're gonna meet your mom when we come right back here on The Dawn Show. You are watching The Dawn Show live and local and uh, having a good time meeting um, some doctors and families, um, really giving back from our community, within our community, and then reaching out um, across the world to a third world country, to Nicaragua, and making such a difference there. So we've been talking to uh, Dr. Jeffrey Siegel, and now we get to meet his, his better half, right, Laura <laughs> Siegel. Excellent. And you're a volunteer. You've, and this I didn't realize this was your first yes, year. This was my first uh, year, Your yes. daughter, it must mm -hmm. mean so much to you. We saw Jackie a second mm -hmm. ago. And how many people wish that they could touch their teenager like that and put oh, such yeah. perspective? Wow. It, it, it really does. Um, it, like every now and then, uh, you need to ground them and bring them to reality. And, you know, even driving through Camden is, an, is a, enough of a wake-up call, but to really, you know, live with these people for the week that we were there um, was much more of an impact than you could And there imagine. you and Jackie are, yeah. um, you know. And that's Emma. And that's Emma. So you had a. She's from Westchester in New York. A team of Lovely volunteers. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you think of most, most teenagers, they want to go to KOP Mall or Cherry Hill yeah. Mall. Right. And your teenager, you were able to instill right. uh, something that will that will carry with her in her life. Yeah. You know, bring me bring me that message. Tell me about what it makes you feel like to be there to help children, and at the same time give your daughter such a gift. Right. It was. Um, it, you know, it was, it was scary even going because, you know, I knew what I was going to see based on a lot of the pictures that my husband had brought home the last uh, few years. And I was afraid to go because now I'm going to really be there, you know. Um, so bringing her there, um, I, I was kind of nervous how she was going to take it as well. We went to the first barrio that was like right next to the compound that we were staying. and. Uh, and this was the best of the barrios. And uh, look at this, this right here is this is uh, uh, the the worst of the three that we had gone to. This particular one was built on an old landfill. Um, they have no plumbing, no electricity. There's nothing there. Their houses were built with you know cardboard and you know tree stumps. Um, the uh, the barrio that was next to the uh, compound that we were staying at was the best of the three. They actually had you know cement walls. And um, uh, they actually did have plumbing. They actually did have electricity. When I say plumbing, they had you know, um, a water wells in the neighborhood. Um, they, of course, all had outhouses. Um, but um, the second barrio that we were in was where we were actually building the house. Uh, they had um, wood siding, you know, wood houses and so forth. So a little bit you know, less uh, than the first one had. But the pictures that you had seen were the worst of the three. You know, the, but the bottom line is um, your message for mm -hmm. you talked about your faith and your mission and mm -hmm. a calling. And the bottom line here um, that I get from you and your family mm -hmm. and your team of doctors is that whether it's your local community mm -hmm. center getting involved with church and synagogue, right. the bottom line, I think, is to get involved right. because you get such a gift out of it. Right. Right, yeah. and to to see the joy in the people's face, it, you feel like you're you're even doing just a little bit. You don't even feel like you're doing a whole lot, but 
the joy that you're giving them is just amazing. You know, the one the one area we were building the house in, and they want the the uh, the one area where we were bringing all the food and the clothes. We had extra money in the fund, so we decided to go and buy a whole bunch of food yeah. to deliver food to these people, as well as all the clothes that were donated from our areas. And uh, we'd bag it up and bring it to them, and they mm -hmm. just. Laura so and Dr. Grateful. Jeff, thank you so much. Just mm -hmm. words of inspiration. Get yeah. involved. Yeah. It's so important. We'll be right back.